Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today I'm bringing you the best VPNs that you could use to block ads. Now, a lot of you might ask, and rightfully so, why would I use a VPN to block ads if you can just use your Chrome extension like ad blocker or you block origin and that's a very good question so i'll answer that and also make you a recommendation if you end up getting interested in any of these vpns uh, and of course if you want to learn about them or go straight to the discounts you'll find everything you need in the description down below okay now one of the reasons why a vpn is necessary is so that you can not only block ads but also trackers. So if you take a look here, you'll notice that we're able to block ads, but we also have the option to block trackers and you always wanna keep this thing on. Now, if you're not familiar with what trackers are, web trackers are small pieces of information that collect data about your activity on a specific website or any website you go to on your browser, essentially, and it sends that information to a tracking server. Now, companies use this information to create more targeted ads, which can increase the likelihood of a user making a purchase. So let's say you were making a Google search about coffee tables, then the trackers of whatever website you visit while researching the coffee tables, these websites will actually record your information so that they can create, again, more targeted ads later on. And there's a lot of personal information that they actually pick up when they're doing that. Now, here I do have a test, so let's get into the ad blocking first and then we'll get to the tracking. So this is the result, 32 points out of 100 without any ad blockers. So this is just with zero ad blockers, uh, the browser without anything. So 32 points out of 100. With ExpressVPN, we've got 41 points. With NordVPN, we've got up to 50 points. And with Surfshark, we've got up to 48 points. So, you know, leading the charge as far as ad blocking here is NordVPN followed by Surfshark and then ExpressVPN. Now, what I would recommend is that you combine the VPN ad blocking protection or capabilities with your extensions so that they kind of work together uh, to block as much ads as possible. Now, again, you don't want to just block ads. You want to block trackers. So if we take a look at this tracking website here, this is without the VPN, but with the ad blockers active. So ad block and uOrigin, uBlock Origin, were on at the same time, but they were still unable to block trackers. So when I turned on the VPN, I went to incognito mode, of course, because at this point, you know, the website tracks my cookies and location and everything. And again, by the way, they pick up essentially all of this information about you so that they can create more targeted ads. These are the trackers that we're talking about. So if you want to avoid this kind of tracking and block ads at the same time, you can use a VPN and you will finally be able to block the invisible trackers and tracking ads and all the pop-ups and whatnot. So if this is what you're looking for, then yeah, Express, Nord, and Surfshark are actually some of the best. Now, the reason I picked these three VPNs specifically, it's not just because of their ad blocking or tracker blocking capabilities. It's also because they are compatible fully for streaming and torrenting. They have a lot of servers and locations. They support all devices and allow you to secure many simultaneous devices. And they're very easy to use. And they essentially cater to, I would say 99% of the VPN user base. Now I give you guys the tests here in case you're just focusing on ad blocking. If ad blocking capabilities are your top priority, then you probably wanna go with NordVPN, especially that it's the fastest VPN and it's arguably the most well-rounded option that offers a bunch of features for a very reasonable price. So if that's what you're looking for, go ahead and get NordVPN. Surfshark, on the other hand, is just two points below NordVPN as far as ad blocking capabilities. And it does give you a lot of bang for the buck since you'll be able to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. Unlike NordVPN's 10 device limit and ExpressVPN's 8 device limit. And you're still getting all the features 
and at a very budget-friendly price. So if that's what you're looking for, Surfshark is a great choice, especially if you have a lot of devices or you'd like to share your account with friends and family. Now, ExpressVPN may be the weakest of the three as far as ad blocking, but you do have that extra option, which will block adult sites. So this is definitely a very effective and easy way to block adult content if you have kids in the house. So you are getting that bonus with ExpressVPN. And at the end of the day, it's really not that much behind Nord and Surfshark. Nord and Surfshark are very effective at what they do. But again, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you prioritize ease of use and that little extra feature that allows you to block adult sites and content in general, and also just want a VPN that really makes it easy to use a VPN on a day to day basis. It's my personal choice for a, a daily driver, let's say, as far as VPNs, it would be ExpressVPN. So if you're looking for something that is very reliable and it's super easy to use, then yeah, Express will be your go to choice here. So that'll be it for this video. And again, you'll find detailed reviews in the description if you're interested in learning more about them. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.